hello beautiful guys welcome back to my youtube channel in this specific video we are going to study about uh, lavender flower but uh, and scientifically it is on lavendula so lavendula is the genus of 47 non-species flying plants in the mint family lemensia it is native to to the old world and it is found in the cape verde and the canary islands and from europe across to northern and eastern africa the mediterranean southwest asia to india many members of genus are cultivated extensively in temperature climate temperate sorry temperate climates as ornamental plants for garden and landscape uses for use of culinary herbs and also commercially for extraction of essential oil the most widely cultivated species lavendula and gustifolia is often referred to as lavender as there is a color name for share of flowers of this species, lavender has been used over centuries in traditional medicine and cosmetics. The genus includes annual or short-lived herbaceous perennial plants and shrubs like perennial subshrubs or small shrubs. Leaf shape is diverse across the genus. They are simple in some commonly cultivated species and other species they are pinately tooted or pinnate, sometimes multiple pinnate and dissected. In most species, the leaves are covered in fine hairs or endotorium, which normally contain essential oils. So let's talk about their etymology. The English word lavender came in to use in the 13th century and is generally thought to derive from old French lavendry, ultimately from Latin lavendry, from lavender reference to the use of infusion of plant the botanic name lavendula is used by Linnaeus is considered to be derived from their and other european vernacular names for the plants the name widely used for some of species english lavender french lavender and spanish lavender are impersonally applied english lavender is commonly used for l against tolia though some reference there to proper them is old english lavender so let's talk about their claim because the cultivated farms are planted in gardens worldwide. They are occasionally found growing well as garden escape well beyond their natural range, such as spontaneous growth is usually harmless, but in some cases Lavendula species have become invasive. For example, in Australia, Lavendula stoiches has become the cause for sun it occurs widely throughout the continent and has been declared as a noxious weed in Victoria since 1920. It is regarded as a weed in part of Spain. Lavenders flourish best in dry, well drained, sandy, or gravelly soil in full sun. English lavender has long germination process, 14 to 28 days, and matures within 100 to 110 days. All types of need little or no fertilizer on good air circulation in area of high humidity root, root due to fungus infection can be a problem. Organic mulches can be trapped moisture around the plant base, encouraging root growth. Thank you guys for watching and staying with me in this video.